Well, hello and welcome to this edition of the EV Revolution Show. My name is Kenneth Bocor, your host for this episode, where I'm looking at the market and seeing what's going on. Tell you got a few stories to talk about today. Hope everybody is staying safe as we get through the pandemic. But let me get right into it and start talking about some of the stories I have for this show. First story I'm going to talk about is the U.S. and President Biden's plan, which is setting really a strong starting point for transforming outdated infrastructure. It's a very encompassing plan that he has. It's a sweeping plan. It's an excellent starting point for transforming the U.S. infrastructure to help create jobs, increase equity, and enable a low-carbon future. Now, President Biden campaigned on many of these smart ideas. Now he has followed through to press for making them law. The plan features numerous energy savings policies across several sectors. Now, with regards to EVs, which is what I talk about, the plan calls to invest about $174 billion in electric vehicles, including through rebates and tax incentives, and to build a network of 500,000 vehicle chargers across the U.S. So that's great news for the EV industry as the U.S. is looking to accelerate adoption and uh, accelerate their programs, and I wish all the success. Now, switching gears to the automotive OEM landscape, Lexus. Now, Lexus has recently unveiled its new battery electric concept model, the Lexus LFZ, or Z Electrified Concept, which might be a turning point in the history of the brand. Boy, I hope so. Now, the company announced that by 2025, it will introduce 20 new or improved models. More than half of them will be electrified. That means battery electric or BEV, plug-in hybrid or hybrid. HEVs. Now, of course, it would be great if we see several new all-electric models within those years. Considering that at the presentation of the Lexus LFZ EV concept and a hint that the electric cars will use BEV dedicated platforms. So that's good. One can assume that at least some of those BEVs will be proprietary models rather than compliance, low-spec EV versions of ICE cars. Hallelujah. Let's get that going. So I really surely hope so. And stay tuned and keep watching more from Lexus. Now, I think it's been a show or two since I've talked about GMC, but they've come out and, um, of course, a lot of buzz around the Hummer. um, And, of course, we're reviving that machine, what quite the gas guzzler it was. Well, of course, they've now come out with an SUV variant of that vehicle. It called the GMC Hummer EV SUV. Wow, there's a brainstorm. And it's scheduled to go into production in early 2023 and will be available at a base price between about $80,000 and $110,000 US, depending on the variant. Now, the more expensive versions will, of course, come first. That seems to be the trend, folks, so deal with it. GMC will offer the Hummer EV SUV with two or three e-motors, electric motors, and outputs of up to 466 or 619 kilowatts. Interesting. Now, as with GM's other electric models, most Hummer EV SUV versions will have a 20-module Altium battery that provides more than 300 miles or about 483 kilometers of range. The base version, as I mentioned, for 80 grand will have a 400 volt system, while GMC will, of course, spec in an 800 volt system that allows for charging powers of up to 300, 300 plus kilowatts for the other versions. Excellent. Of course, with the SUV will come these features like crab walk and extract mode. Uh, the former allows the Hummer to drive diagonally, which is really cool, while the latter rises the vehicle about 15 centimeters to cope with extreme terrain. So pretty interesting stuff as well. GMC is currently accepting reservations for the 2024 Hummer EV SUV. Only all of the launch edition ones have already been reserved at a base price of $106,000 US. So you missed out on that if you haven't booked it. So check out their website for more info. Now, staying with GMC, I'm going to say I told you so, folks, because I have more news from them. Recently, they announced that the Chevrolet Silverado full-size pickup will be built in an all-electric version. Go figure. And that'll be done at its Hamtramck Factory Zero plant in Michigan. In the absence of other details, because they really haven't said much, the uh, GM did reveal that the new model will offer more than 400 miles of EPA range, which is awesome. Uh, GM President Mark Rose uh, said that Chevrolet, quote, Chevrolet will take everything Chevy's loyal truck buyers love about Silverado and more. 
and put it into an electric pickup that will delight retail and commercial customers alike. I love that because, again, pickup truck market is huge from a commercial perspective. GM isn't confirming any timing for this, but the model year of the vehicle or, or any, with any of the specs, but however, um, it is estimated to arrive sometime in 2023, so keep your eyes peeled for more info on that. So GMC has got their fair share. Now let me switch gears to Volkswagen. Volkswagen has finally revealed the pricing of the ID4 in Canada. Of course, it's already being delivered in uh, in the United States, and now we finally get the pricing here in Canada. First to arrive north of the border will be the ID4 Pro, and it will be a rear-wheel drive variant equipped with an 82 kilowatt hour battery pack. With 201 horsepower and 229 pound-feet of torque, the ID. 4 Pro will have a range of about 400 kilometers or 248, 250 miles or so on a full charge. Unique to the Canadian market, the ID4 will feature a heat pump, good, and that'll help improve the range and efficiency, of course, in the cold winter uh, months that we have up here. It will also come standard with heated front seats, a heated steering wheel, and VW's really neat heated windshield, which, folks, it works great. I've tried it out on the e-golf before. Most importantly, the ID4 Pro will be priced at under $45,000, putting it just below the threshold for the $5,000 national ISEV rebate from the federal government, which is fantastic. That price point is very strong, folks. With additional profit provincial incentives, the price could be as low as under $32,000 Canadian in Quebec. Yes, what a bargain that is. Later in the year, the all-wheel drive ID Pro will arrive in Canada, and it will have approximately 300 horsepower because it's dual motor, and be priced at under 50,000, 49,995, meaning it as well will qualify for the ISEV incentive. That's excellent. So for five grand federally, the ID4 Pro will be first offered in British Columbia and Quebec. Of course, those are our leading provinces now in, in Canada. Later this summer, and then followed by here in Ontario shortly after, and then I'm sure, you know, more as, as uh, time goes on. So this is great news for us knuckleheads here. For more info, check out VW Canada's website, and I'm very stoked for this, and I can't wait to get a, a drive into one, hopefully sometime by the summer. Staying in Canada, I want to talk about a company a Canadian success story here. They're called Lion Electric and they're based out of Quebec and they've received an order from Pride Group Enterprises for the acquisition of a hundred of their all-electric Lion 6 and Lion 8 trucks. Now these guys have been busy. They, they're best known for, in fact, their electric school buses that they've been pumping out, which is great. Now they unveiled, unveiled excuse me, the Lion 8 in the spring of 2018, so it's been a couple of years. It's, it's equivalent to a U.S. Class 8 e-truck which is equivalent to about trucks around over 15 tons in that range. It's got 350 kilowatt um, uh, motor, offers up to 400 kilo, uh, kilowatt hour of battery capacity, and up to 400 kilometers of range using NMC cells from LG Chem. And the Lion 6 is similar to a US Class 6 vehicle of over 8.84 tons. Now, Lion Electric seems to be very busy supplying even more electric buses as well as inking a large agreement with Amazon of up to 2,500 Lion 6 and Lion 8 trucks over a five-year delivery rollout. Love it. Great news for this market segment, and it's ripe for electrification, as I keep saying, and I'm really glad to see a company like Lion Electric doing well. Keep your eye on those guys. Now, staying on the subject of Lion Electric for a sec, Con Edison, which is the Consolidated Edison Company of New York in the U.S., um, has announced that together with Lion Electric and Posi Plus, it is developing the U.S.'s first all-electric bucket truck. The vehicle is expected to be unique, having a range of up to 130 miles or 209 kilometers, and being capable of performing the full range of work, including all-electric lifts for line workers and equipment as high as 60 feet for construction, maintenance, and repair work. Now, the base vehicle for the project will be the Lion 8, which has a 252 kilowatt hour battery pack and a peak output of 350 kilowatts and 3,400 newton meters of torque. Take your pick on which one you like. An interesting feature is that it will be able to recharge in eight hours using two AC level two charging uh, two stations. Plus, the electric bucket truck for Con Edison will be delivered in early 2022 
and initially used in a pilot program. You know, you, you folks know, I've said a lot of times, I love seeing electrification in more non-traditional transportation use cases. And I hope that this pilot is successful and we see more of this in the future. All right, and that's it for this edition of the EV Rev Show. A quick rundown of what's going on and some stories. Um, again, everybody, thank you for watching me on YouTube and for, for your comments. If you haven't subscribed, please do. It's important to do that. Always love to hear comments, love to hear your feedback. It's an exciting time they're going through. There's so much going on, so keep your eyes for that. Of course, always humble uh, thanks to my Patreon supporters. You know who you are as I continue to dial up more episodes and look to get out and get car reviews this year and all kinds of stuff. So thank you for your support. Again, we're getting through the pandemic. Uh, lots of countries are starting to ramp up it with vaccines. Um, I just got my first vaccine last week, folks. So uh, I was happy to finally get in and get my first one. Um, and I'm doing okay, feeling good. So thank you very much for some best wishes that I uh, received from some people. And again, if you ha have an opportunity to go out there and get any vaccine that's uh, approved by your public health authority, wherever you are, please do it, that's important and continue to watch what's going on on the EV revolution front. Lots of stuff happening from automotive manufacturers all over the globe, and I'll continue to hunt for more stories on the next show. So until then, please, everybody stay safe. Stay safe, that's what I'm trying to say. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you when I see you. Take care, bye-bye.